First Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. Read out. But I suffer not a woman to teach. He says, I the word suffer mean allow. It means I don't allow a woman to teach. So that's that's not, in the Bible. So that's not the Bible. We just read the Bible. Call it where you at again. This is the look, brother. This is the new testament. He does not allow you to be a pastor over the church. No, he does not. No, he does not. It, Mary carried the womb and she was pregnant by Joseph. Read. So does God love everybody? He got he loves who? God loves Israel. Because we have a pastor in the car. A lady pastor, for one. Does God allow women to be pastors? No or y yes or no? Let's get the scripture about it. Let's read it. Let's read it. Let's read the Bible. Yeah, let's go to, uh, no, no, no. I won't go to Timothy. Let's get it. He does not allow you to be a pastor over the church. No, he does not. No, he does not. It, Mary carried the womb and she was pregnant by Joseph. Read. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. Read out. But I suffer not a woman to teach. He says, I the word suffer mean allow. It means I don't allow a woman to teach. That's, that's in the Bible. Bible. That's not the Bible. We just read the Bible. Call it where you at again. This is the look, brother. This is the New Testament. Read it again. First Timothy chapter two, verse twelve. Read reading out. Of, how do you? How y'all doing in the car? First Timothy's chapter two. So we're reading in the New Testament of the King James Version Bible. She just said that's not in the Bible. Get your Bible. Go over there and show the people right here. Read the book of First Timothy chapter two, verse twelve. Uh -huh. But I suffer not a woman to teach, uh -huh. nor you to usurp authority. Over the man. So he said, I do not allow a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the men. Read. But to be in silence. But to be what? To be in silence. God said, shut up. But our people do not want to hear the Bible. She's a pastor lying on God. That's what our people do. So then what book do she believe in? Right. Lies. Right. That's what our people teach our people. That's why our communities are what they are. Because women will not shut up right. when it comes to God's word. We're reading out of the Bible, and you don't want to hear the black man teach it because you think you deep. That's exactly what it says. And that right. sister is leaning on her own understanding and got a man in the car with her allowing the crap. Right. Come out here trying to sell oils on the Sabbath day when you ain't even supposed to be buying and selling on the Sabbath day. Right. She ain't even doing that right. But she a pastor, right. and she doing what she supposed to do. So she said, and that's not in the Bible. Right. Some by verse five, uh -huh. the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Uh -huh. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. God said he hate all workers of iniquity, all workers of sin. Right. God said he hates them. So in order for God to love us and to start blessing us. We have to do what he said. Right. But a pastor will tell you, you don't have to do that. That's all okay. In the New Testament, everything is all good. That's not in the Bible. That's right. That's not in the Bible. The New Testament is a summary of the old. That's Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ. Read. The son of David. Uh -huh. The son of Abraham. Uh -huh. Abraham begot Isaac. Uh -huh. And Isaac begot Jacob. Uh -huh. And Jacob begot Judas and his brethren. Did you hear any woman right there? It said the generation of Jesus Christ, right? Jump down to verse uh, 19, I believe. I think that's what I want. Let me see. 
uh, 18. Matthew chapter 1, verse 18. Bring it out. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. Three. When as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph. It said when Mary was a spouse, meaning engaged, she was already promised to Joseph. So she was already going to be his wife. She was already his wife. Because once a woman gets a spouse, she can't go be with nobody else. She stuck to that man until he dead. So she was his spouse to Joseph. Read on. Before they came together. It said before they came together. Because it is a custom of the Israelites to have a wedding feast. And then on their wedding feast on that day, they sleep. They have sex with each other. Right. And then they give the tokens of her virginity, which is the sheets that she bled on because she was a virgin. They give those sheets to the father. But now, it said before the wedding feast. So before they came together, read on. She was found with child uh -huh. of the Holy Ghost. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. People take that and say, oh, oh, she got pregnant by an angel. Right. So you mean to tell me an angel will commit adultery with Joseph's fiance? Is that what you're saying? Is that, that's what people are saying. That's what people are saying when they say, Mary carried the baby and she did not have sex. Right. So the angel had sex with a woman that already had a husband. So you're telling me that the angel who did God's work slept with another man's wife. Does that make any sense? But you let the Christian woman tell it. That's exactly what happened. That's why she'll get out the car and say, the woman, Mary, carried the baby. Well, her simple behind. Right. And that's why she sit up there and act like that. Read on. Verse 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, it said, Joseph, a husband, being a just man, meaning he kept the commandments, read on, and not willing to make her a public example, uh -huh. was minded to put her away privily. So he put her away privily because he knew that if she went into this feast and all of a sudden everybody found out she wasn't a pregnant, it was going to be a problem. Because back then she would get stoned for that. But they had sex already. So no, 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 no. He just did it privately. Read on. But. While he thought on these things, uh -huh. behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him Three. in a dream, saying, Joseph, thy son of David, uh -huh. fear not to take unto thee, marry thy wife. So, remember, she was espoused to him. And right there, she was called his what? Wife. So when a man and a woman get espoused to each other, they husband and wife already. Right. So then, this right here, it said, then the angel told him, look, look, don't worry about it, bro. Y'all had sex already. She got a baby in the womb. You got her pregnant already. Read on. Fear not to take unto thee, Mary, thy wife. Uh -huh. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. It was a prophecy already. Because right. it was said in the Old Testament that Christ had to come. So look, he's coming through your lineage, Joseph. Don't even worry about it, bro. That's what the angel is telling him. Yet and still let the black woman say, no, 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 no. No. She did not have sex with Joseph. Read on. And she shall bring forth a son, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Uh -huh. For he shall save his people uh -huh. from their sin. It said that Christ is going to save his people, meaning he has a people, not everybody. not everybody. Not everybody. So now let's go to Matthew 12. That's what they say. Let's go. let's go. Matthew chapter 12, verse 49. And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do. He said, Behold my mother and my brothers. So the, jump up a verse. Jump yeah. up a verse. 40, 40. Matter of fact, jump up to 47. Read that. Then one said unto him, Behold thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak to thee. So you had a bunch of people, hey, look, they standing off to the side. Hey, Amen. We need to talk to you. We need to talk to you. Read. But he answered and said unto them, That that told him, Who is my mother? Said, who's my mother? He's asking them, who is my mama? Read. And who are my brethren? Who are my brothers? Read. And he stretched forth his hand uh -huh. toward his disciples and said, behold. So he, so it was disciples. He had disciples, people following him and doing the commandments. So he stretched forth his hand toward them. Read. Behold, my mother and my brethren. These are my mothers and brothers. Right. Those that keep the commandments, that's our family. That's right. Because you can't choose where you're born or who you're born to or what family you're born into. 
Well, no, no, no. People choose their family all the time, just like gang members. They choose their family all the time. Oh, no, 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 no. Not my mother or my father that raised me. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to rob and steal with these brothers, and it's going to be my family. Right. People choose their family all the time. But then we get to the Bible, and then Christ said who the family is that he was with. He was with those that were keeping the commandments. Now, all of a sudden, it's a problem. Read up. All of a sudden, it's a problem. Read on. For whosoever shall do the will of my father. Whosoever shall do the will of my father. What's the will of God? Let's get Psalms 40 and 8. There it is. And we're going to read it. For anybody that can hear it in earshot. That darn old Christian pastor come up here. That lady is bugged out her mind. Right. Read Psalms 40 verse 8. I delight to do thy will. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Yay. Thy law is within my heart. It said that David said, I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Thy law is what's in my heart. Thy law is what's in my mind to do. Meaning that's how I'm going to do. I'm going to do your laws. That's the will of God. So let's go back. Let's go back over here to Matthew 12 again. So let's read that again. Matthew chapter 12, verse 50. Read For whosoever shall do thy will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother. Uh -huh and sister, uh -huh. and mother. That's your family. That's your family. You know why he said that? So now, so now, hold on, hold on. Because I want to get, I, we got to deal, we want to still, still deal with the fact that Mary was not of some uh, 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 some immaculate thing. Come so on, we read it, it that there wasn't out. the case already in Matthew's one, that she was going to have a son, right? Let's get the prophecy. I want the prophecy. Let me see where you at. Where you going? Huh? Uh, yeah, we'll read that. We'll read that. Luke chapter 1, verse 31. Read And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, uh -huh. and bring forth a son, and shall call his name. Jump up to 30. Luke chapter 1, verse 30. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary. So it's the angel talking to Mary. The same woman she get out here in her stomach talking about she carried Jesus. Read. For thou hast found favor with God. Uh -huh. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. So the angel said, you shall conceive. Not that I'm going to make you pregnant. The angel didn't make Mary pregnant. He just told her, look, this is what's going to happen right here. Read. And bring forth a son. Uh -huh. And shall call his name Jesus. Read. He shall be he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. That said, he shall be great and he shall be called the son of the highest. Read on. And shall, and shall give unto him the throne of his father David. The throne of who? His father David. What tribe was David from? Judah. Let's get that in uh, Samuel. Let's get 2 Samuel 7. Let's read that. 7 and 12. So now we just said that he was going to come. He's the son of David, right? Because he's of the lineage of David. J David was from the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Christ, what tribe was Christ? Judah. The tribe, go, you are what your father is, not what your mama is. And we're going to prove that after we read this prophecy that Christ was coming anyway. You got it? Read that. Yes, sir. Th that's it. But yes, still you get the woman, get out the car. Nope. Nope, nope, that ain't what she believed. But she a Christian pastor. She's killing all our people with lies. Right. Every week, talking about selling holy oil, talking about holy oil has a, 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 a smell, so she add fragrance to it to make it smell good. On the Sabbath day, she's selling it to our people. How you doing, mother, over here? Praise to the Most High. Hopefully you come talk to us because we're reading out of the King James Version Bible that everybody's supposed to know. But a lot of people say that Mary did not get pregnant by Joseph. But the Bible says that she did. Read. Read that in 7. 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 12. Look it on. And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy father. So this is a prophecy that's being told to David. He said, look, when your days are fulfilled and you sleep with your father, when you die, David, read on, I will set up thy seed after thee. There's going to be a seed to come through your lineage, David, read on. 
which shall proceed out of thy bowels, uh -huh. and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build an house uh -huh. for my name, mm -hmm. and I will, excuse me, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. For how long? Forever. Now, now everybody knows when the kingdom of heaven gets here, bro, is it ever going to fall again? Who's going to be the ruler of that kingdom? In Christ, right? Christ going to be over that. Was David over that? Because David did. And his kingdom ended. Because he passed to Solomon, and then Solomon was in sin, and there was a split. Now you got two sons, and they don't went off. And we haven't been together until now, until Christ died. Now we're able to come back and say that we are all 12 tribes once again. Right. And to go home. Right. Now they call us the lost 12 because most of our people don't know who they are. Just like the Christian pastor, I asked her what's her race. She talked about, I'm from the tribe that Christ comes from. Okay, well what tribe is that? All the tribes. Well, which one is that? Uh, 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 uh. And then you got the man in the car with him. He's sitting up there talking about some... Well, look, bro, you're about to get twisted up because that's a pastor. And I said simply right there to his face and her face. She don't know the Bible. Right. It is what it is. Just, just look, that don't scare us. We study the Bible. We're reading out of the Bible. What was she reading out of? We read Timothy's and she said that's not in the Bible. Read up. We literally, she, a woman, that's why the woman can't be leading the congregation because she all be motioned all day. She's the weaker vessel. We're reading out of the Bible. And she said, no, that is not in the Bible. Yet still we're reading that. She was talking about the New Testament, everything in her car. Then we read the New Testament where it told her to shut up. Then she said, that's not in the Bible. Unbelievable. Read that again. Read that part again. The last verse that you just read, the forever. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. So now, it was already prophesied that Christ was coming. And it was coming through the lineage of David. Give me Numbers 1 and 18. Let's see, let's see if Christ could be of the woman, or would he have to be? Because when he gave, we read, we read Matthew chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. All men listed. Because that's the only way you get a gene. A genealogy is from the man. Let's see if that's biblical. Read. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. Read up. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. Uh -huh. And they declared their pedigree. They, they declared their lineage. Read. After their families. Uh -huh. By the house of their father. By their mother. By the house of their father. By the woman. By the house of their father. That's Bible. But all of a sudden the Christian woman don't understand that. She don't understand that. Now let's get 1 Corinthians 14, 33. Because a lot of sisters want to do this. Really? A lot of sisters want to do this. The angel said she would get pregnant. Right. And then when she got pregnant, then it told the man, hey, look, don't be afraid. So let's read. Look, 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 look. The other Christian passed this back and don't know the Bible. Get out the car and read the scriptures. Right. And we got the weak man that will not deal in the Bible. All we doing is reading the Bible. <laughs> Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. Uh -huh. Read out. For God is not the author of confusion, uh -huh. but of peace as in all churches of the saints. Now we are the saints. There's confusion about what this says and that says. God ain't in the midst of that. Right. That's why, that's why I think well, the, the Immaculate Conception didn't even start until the 1800s. The 1800s, so everybody before then knew that Christ had a blood father on earth, an earthly father, which was Joseph. Everybody knew. But now, in the 1800s, now all of a sudden, don't nobody know? That's confusion. God is not the author of that. So now, the first thing he said, after he said there is no confusion, let's see who he talk about next. Read. Verse 34. Let your women keep silence in the church so the first person that's going to bring confusion is a woman pastor right. the first person that is bringing confusion is the woman pastor right. so we said let that woman keep silence in the church because she's going to push lies same thing that happened to eve 
She got deceived and took it to her husband, but because he didn't stand up and correct her, that's where he fell off. But he wasn't tricked. She was tricked off of her emotion because she wants to be equal to the man when God said, no, 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 no. That's not what it is. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.